Hey, there you are. Hey, you know, I like this uh, vintage uh, Massey Ferguson gray. You see, I'm, I'm wearing it. <laughs> and one advantage to this color is um, it, it's easy to touch up. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they seem to have this rust-oleum uh, color just about everywhere. It's spray cans, uh, you name it. So I, I, I think that's a pretty good choice. Hey, I tell you what, what, what I'm looking forward to um, with this uh, radial drill is, I, I've mentioned it before, I don't have a whole lot of experience with radial drill. We had a bigger one at the uh, community college here, and you had to do... Uh, you had to drill a hole or two on it. But uh, when I went out into the workforce, there wasn't too many radial drills for me to use. They were generally in a welding shop. But uh, there's just a lot of operations that can be done with the radial drill. And I'll point out the on the American pacemaker lathes, the headstocks were drilled with American hole wizards. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They did a lot of line boring. You can do a lot of cool things in the shop, and I've uh, kind of poked around and seen some of that. Well, there's a uh, 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 subject uh, that I think would be kind of a, a cool thing. A person mentioned it, and it was not, you know, on the, on the more jig bore that uh, uh, someone appreciated a video I did and said, uh, people find it useful 10 years from now and I will, probably won't be making too many videos in 10 years so I think it might be best to uh, concentrate uh, also for future episodes of my spontaneous turn on the camera and start talking I only have an idea of what I'm going to talk about I try to do notes and things like that but I can't stick to them but anyway, I kind of have an idea, and I was thinking um, probably the best thing I can do is kind of try to take the mystery out of the, uh, getting the higher accuracy out of the chip making machines. And uh, I can do that with the jig board here and the cutter grinder. And uh, kind of want to go along and try to come up with alternatives to uh, getting uh, higher accuracy if you don't have the cutter grinder and the jig board. So I don't know. Let's go and look at that. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of it. it it's, it's going to look different here in a couple of days. Ah, come on in here. Ah. Yeah, getting the, ready to be repowered by American Rotary. That's going to be pretty cool, huh? Okay. And, oh, what a beauty. Um, now. I'm kind of getting spoiled again. I haven't used a lot of insert tool, and and it's really fun to uh, uh, put this insert tool in uh, to use, and uh, you can really blast out parts, and it's a lot of fun. But it's you know everybody does it, everybody knows about it, and stuff like that. And uh, I don't need to do a lot of videos on it, but uh, I, I really should uh, do more videos on on this machine here, the jig boring machine, and uh, the uh, and take the mystery out of it. You know, it's just uh, maybe a little bit different approach uh, operating this machine. Maybe a kind of slow down a little bit. You know. Um, this machine is kind of like the Monarch 10 double E lathe. Let's go look at that. Um, now, I have to keep this one under cover. Um, this one is for sale, by the way. Um, only 38000 But this machine here is just awful for removing tear material. You know, if you want to make those rings so that, you know, uh, really carve out material it's just horrible it just uh it's just no good for that this machine is really good for finishing to high accuracy high speeds and stuff like that so you know if you're gonna um let's say you needed high accuracy on this part well, you'd want to rough it out on the axles and, you know, if you're going to carve this out of solid steel, 
and leave about a, you know a 64th of an inch or you know 32nd of an inch uh, to finish on that machine and it's uh, it's the same with the jig bore you know this thing is horrible for um, removing very much material the spindle system in it is so stiff this whole thing will just shudder <laughs> it's stuff it doesn't like it's made for finishing a part and this is the ideal machine here to bring a part to the point that you finish it over here <laughs> okay now i already did let up the big secret to getting high accuracy and uh, also referenced it. it but you have to search it out i uh i haven't been able to find it on the internet uh, last time i looked but i don't look that hard and that is the instruction manual from Metal on the rami cron boring head system and in there, they guarantee any jig bore operation can get plus or minus 80 millionths of an inch for the average operator. Then they set up the parameters for you to do that. And one of the parameters is a feed less than one thousandths of an inch. And I'll get into that a little bit. But I had to modify this number two uh, jig bore, so it would do that, you know. And the number three jig bore uh, already does that. But, and the Mark 10 double E does that, okay. Feed finer than 1,007 inch. But if you have a machine that doesn't have that fine feed, like this one here, the finest feed is uh, almost 3,000. So, what I can talk about is how to squeeze the accuracy out of uh, regular machines at the same time showing how to get that uh, plus or minus 80 million. It's pretty close, let's say, okay? Sounds like a plan to me, you know, and uh, I don't want to just uh, do uh, entertainment but I want to be entertaining at the same time. Where's my cup of coffee? Get over here. There it is. Well, I'm trying to get this arranged better, and I think I'm succeeding. I kind of have to move stuff from over there to over here, and uh, try to get a little bit more efficient. I think it's looking pretty good. Could use a little more room, but I'll... <clears throat> likely do that you know I don't know you know I could move to another location but it's hard to say it's hard to you know know just exactly what's the best thing to do in these times so I just keep doing what I'm doing and I hope you folks keep doing what you're doing too I'll probably I should probably check out I'm dabbling a little bit too much can't think of anything else oh oh yeah 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 now I'm going to concentrate on this machine too this is very very important for a, a, a efficient jig boring but you know you don't absolutely have to have this machine you know you can uh, I don't know uh, some people are just super good at uh, hand grinding and uh, it'll slow you down if you don't have um, the cutter grinder but I should show uh, everything I know about uh, cutter grinding and that'll be great too okay I can't think of another thing right now I'm gonna get uh, busy and get this thing ready to go here uh, and uh, grind those jaws and uh, I'm, I'm still looking for a ring uh, to complete the tool for the 12 the inch and uh, the 12 inch chuck too. And um, that'll be great. I haven't uh, ground in too many small chucks because, um, you know, out in the shops here and stuff was usually a 12 inch chuck. And uh, I, I have ground in the, the Monarch uh, 
chucks you know, here and there. And I'll show you a little trick uh, that a, a, a grinding hand showed me on uh, uh, grinding, uh, grinding the jaws of six chucks. This tool won't work on those. Okay, I'm going to love this video and uh, keep cleaning up around here. Okay, bye.